Do you always, when you guys do it, always like wonder where they look at? I know there's a camera up here you're supposed to be looking at, but I always seem to be focusing on the centre of the screen, being a fucking muppet that I am. Um, there's a couple of things I want to go on about today. One thing is, you know, I've uh, kind of kept out of it because one is really none of my business like that. But um, <coughs> really cough. Online online trolling, bullying. Um, I've since I've been on YouTube, everybody I've met to a person has been, has been absolutely brilliant, really helpful, kind warm-hearted it's been brilliant i can't fault anybody um but you do come across from time to time that you see people that are unkind to others so i shake your hand um you know, i just like I, I struggle with it really a little bit uh you know, I, I personally struggle a little bit with mental health from time to time, probably see I haven't put a video on for about a couple of weeks um, because you know I just haven't felt like it. Um, and I'm gonna waffle on there, right? Whether or not you know if it makes sense, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. And you take what you want from it. <coughs> I just find that you know, I'm not gonna mention no names because this is a lot of it, but this is what I think about everything. I've been bullied myself to a point. Um, I know what it's like and I would love to give the fuckers a thrashing, I really will. The trouble is if I did, I'd probably kill them. Do you know what I mean? Because they're not the healthiest of people and they're very devious and sly and what they say behind your back, they never sit to your face. And that's the problem, where the problem lies for me. <coughs> you know, the way I look at it is if you don't like somebody, or you don't agree with somebody, either man up and go and speak to them face to face, or shit the fuck out, really, isn't it? Simple as that. Um, that's the way I look at it. Um, you need to bitch and constantly um, say things about them on the backs, leave silly little comments. Well, ultimately, you leave comments up here, so it's all about on Facebook, on YouTube, and it's good or bad. Um, but when you see <coughs> that, what well, how affects people um, personally, and you see this person now it affects them, and when you know people who used to be friends end up falling out whatever reason, you know, I won't, get, won't go into it, you know, if it's a racist remark or something like that, or a sexual remark or whatever, it doesn't really matter, does it, you know, if that person has apologised, accept it or don't accept it, move on, isn't it, you don't have to use that as a stick to constantly beat people with, or hit a person with, you know, it's not a justification to carry on um, yeah, bullying basically it's whatever you, you want to call it ultimately if you're not willing to go knock on that person's door and have it out with them you know and yet you, you go online and constantly leave messages on there you know you get your friends to leave messages on there what? why? what the fuck are you on about? what are you doing? Um, what's, what's your end game here? Well, is your end game to um, push that person out of keeping coy? You know, if your hobby that, let's face it, we all love. So why are you, so why are you falling out? I don't get it, I still get it. You know, you see each other at coy shows and you, you don't say nothing to them face to face and yet you go online and you do. <sighs> Beyond me. Like I say, what is your end game? What's the end game here? Have you got to bid out, you know, what, you want that person to commit suicide? Is that what you want? What, what do you want? What, you know, 
why are you why do you constantly um bully really um get a fucking life you know if i want to try bullying me if you like but i will come knocking on your door and i'll grab your own fucking throat that's the way i am see you that i'm just fucking really not man enough to come and speak to you personally then it is what it is isn't it um yeah that's what i've really got to say about it I just you know like i say I, I haven't really got any skin in the game you know i i have seen it not from a distance you know i've got a couple of friends um and i've seen how it's affected people um it's just poor old guys all adults you know we all know that there's been things going on on youtube online with trolls you know we know who those people are you know um just you know if that's your adult doing the time of day not interested in it at all um yeah let's all try to be kind or kinder to each other you know no matter who we are I know it might seem a bit cryptic and you might be thinking what the fuck is he talking about fine but it's just something i wanted to say to all you guys out there in the koi world youtube world let's all try to be nice to each other we'll have to like each other but let's try to fucking get on to a point all right here in end of the lesson all right great have a great day guys Good afternoon everyone, it's Stevie here from Popsy's Koi. Hope you're all, all well, enjoying the um, autumn sun. It's absolutely glorious here in sunny North Devon at the moment. So it feels about 17, 18 degrees. Um, I haven't been on for a while, just a few things on. Um, so I thought I'd come on and catch up and let you know what I've been doing. Um, doing a few bits and bobs so I've just been just about to start my filter cleans and whatnot so that's what I'll be doing today and maybe have a quick chat about what I'll be doing uh, moving on over the winter um, yeah I've got a few plans which you probably I've spoke about in the past um, I've got a couple more fish nice little story I'll tell you about that one there I've got one I call Rosie which is a chocolate chag 50 cm and um, yeah, so he's he, she, beautiful fish. So, a nice little story with that, really. Don't know how many of you guys um, have ever snuck fish into your ponds without the other half knowing. That's what I did. It's quite funny, really. Um, last Friday evening, I was uh, going up to pick up my eldest from, from uni. And, um, Somebody I uh, kind of well, know I'm on a on a Facebook group I was getting rid of um, a chocolate chag, and as it as it worked out, he was en route from uh, picking my son up from from uh, uni. Well, stars of mine had happened, didn't it? So anyway, son was sworn to secrecy, um, and under the colour of colour cover of darkness I uh, come home at 11 o'clock at night and put Rosie my chocolate chag into the pond without the nearest and dearest knowing <laughs> um, anyway being a chocolate chag dark pond what could go wrong she's gonna notice is she wrong Tuesday what took till Tuesday and uh, I had a text from the nearest and dearest. What the hell is that massive fish in the pond? Oh, got rumbled. She's met Rosie. Um, yeah. So Rosie now is uh, is in full view. I'm not keeping Rosie in the shadows anymore. But um, yeah. Without further ado, I'll show you what I've been doing, what I'm going to do. Right guys, I'll be uh, cleaning my filtration today. I've got my uh, moving bed to clean up. Um, I've got 
big spot in the corner there. But overall, let's do another one. Um, but we've got it. We've had it two times now, so I'm doing a bit of a thing. And so, um, yeah, so I'll be giving that one a clean. My medium bed, sorry, standard bed, needs a really good clean. I haven't been done for a couple of weeks. Tuck, tuck, stick, So that one there is going to be um, given a real good clean today. Fish are doing really well. Really, really well. Uh, I'll show you some underwater footage later. So that's all good with them. So there we go. Moving back on. That's a bit weird, the lid, lid just closed by itself. A bit freaky. Moving on into the into the shed. UV is now switched off. It's been switched off now for the best part of a month. Um, I need to strip that one down and give it a bloody good clean to be fair. Um, and my easy pod needs a good clean. So I should be doing that directly. I've connected on now. I've got a little leak on that valve so I need to um, replace that valve at some stage but I've put as you probably know what I might have said before I've put a four inch soil pipe which runs through my utility and into here so it makes life a lot easier cleaning because before I was running a hose out of here out of here into my utility and down in that corner there yeah not good so uh yeah that's what i'll be doing today so i'll get on with that and i'll come back to you guys later right guys clean on the go got a leak on that valve obviously with a bow underneath so i need to replace that bow valve uh, we'll let's see what better fittings to do that later on. We're in the way lovely now. Shit Conservatory. I've got this acrylic tube um, which is not ideal for an upflow filter. It's about seven inches in diameter so I need to get that reduced down to four inch and then from four inch on a wave so that'll all be good. I'll probably cut that down to about a meter maybe shorter than that um, and then the water fittings I'll be sighting it in here. What circuit I'll be fitting on, I think what I'll be doing, it'll be on the, uh, the bottom drain. So I'll reverse back out. Because at the moment I've got the bottom drain coming out. Well, coming in, in there. Go through the UV. Then back out, out to my moving bed. And static bed. So what I might do, where yeah, I don't know, I 
might have to move this. Um, sorry, move move the UV. Don't know where to yet because it's a bit of a beast. Um, and have maybe an upflow filter here, and then um, scrub that. What I might do actually, leave that alone. Is yeah, beg your pardon. What I might do is where the outlet is on the easy pod going into the pump. I could put it in that corner there and then have it going off which goes through and you've got that horrible pipe that's draped over at the moment which goes off to my shower so yes that's what I'll do I'll put the um, the outflow filter there yeah happy days all good um, yeah so that's what I'll do there I've got my static bed on a boil. I need to clean out the uh, filters there. That's all going to be changed this some in the winter. Excuse the uh, the names on the bins. My wife told me I need to um, put some tape over them to hide them, but I've got a third one, so I'm going to have an, a th another one there. I might just lower the bins down because. Uh, when I do my alterations to the pond, I shall be, at the moment, the pond is about 900 deep. And um, I'm hoping to take it down, hoping to take it down to um, about 1.4, we'll depend see how it goes. And then possibly, um, and then literally the pipework that you see going through the wall in there will go, go through the side of the um the pond into the uv which then comes back out to the to the back of this one um but that one will be moved well basically the third one will be there so i want to have a static bed there moving bed there another moving bed there and then back into the pond that's my, that's my uh winter plan um and maybe and just tidy up that pipe work over there. Um, lilies are all starting to die off now. Got some grass growing in there a bit weirdly, but you know, it is what it is. I've got to stop pecking all this shit out man. Oh yeah, it's just falling off now. Um, one thing I've got to find, I've got to say with, this is my first autumn with the pond. Um, you know, I suppose each just like uh, the seasons, isn't it? You know, each season is different. You know, the autumn of the pond, all, all the algae's gone. Um, I quite like the algae in the pond, actually. Fish like to graze on it. Um, it just adds a, a bit of like a carpet effect to the to the liner. It doesn't show the imperfection so much. Um, of course but now it's all gone and it's back to um, the liner but having said that it's crystal clear um, and then I can see all the shit on the bottom of the pond so um, yeah I suppose it's got yin and yang things towards it and it um, I should I should imagine the fish will be alright this winter um, considering the depth of the pond but the little puddle I had last year they, they were right in that so funny watching them actually with all everything switched off they see it all seem to come alive as if like they're investigating what's going on um yeah go through that feeding room bless them but yeah they're still a little bit uh flighty shall we say you know i'm really looking forward to the time when actually they come out and come up and hand feed I'm really looking forward to that moment. But I know that means me spending time out here with them, um, you know, feeding them. So, uh, yeah, jobs are good. Isn't it? That one, uh, the uh, shower needs a bit of a touch up. Um, there's a few flecks of blue coming back through, so yeah, I'll have to sort that out. But yeah, overall, considering the pond was completed 
back in early February. I'm over the moon now it's gone really. But we always like to fiddle, don't we? We're never 100% um, happy. We've always got to play around, don't we? I suppose that's being hobbyists, you know, it's, um, it's what we do, isn't it? Right, guys, I want to carry on my clean. I'll get back to you guys shortly. Guys, I'm just finishing off clean enough to make my um, easy pot. I'm just going to run the outside of it here now. Put all the nice bits of the crap around the edges. And that just helps to see if you get too much. That's possible. So I'm just going to do two things at once. Clean out all the bits. Happy days. Jobs are good. That's that bit done. I'll strip down that that valve in a minute. See if I can get the adapters for it. I might have got in the van. Whilst I'm in here, I've got two more cups. Look. First one was uh, is from some reprobate up in the uh, Midlands and you see that name very well but Black Country Koi bloke Davy Koi thank you very much Davey you're an absolute legend um, yeah top bloke love you a bit you know that mate top top bloke um, that's that one and look what I've got here anybody uh, knows Mark Herridge from Mark's Country Koi um, Please pay him a visit. He's a top bloke. He, he's a very honest bloke. And whatever you want uh, regarding your pond, go and see Mark. He will definitely help you out to get absolute top bloke. So that's Mark from Country Koi. Um, I've also got some bits and bobs hopefully coming next week from Daz Shelton from Skeggy Pond Supplies. So Mark, can't you help you out or you want to go and see Daz? Pop over to see Daz, then uh, he will help you out because he's another top bloke. Right, guys, catch Hi you guys. in Now, just starting to clean my other filter now. Um, just my my static bed is having a good clean. So, what I've done is excuse the leak, and let me just try to turn it around. Guys, I'm going to clean that my static bed. So what I've done there is just made the adaption from there. Again, that's something I need to change later on. Now that connected internally into the source stack. But I've just got it running down to outside at night. <coughs> to to outside drain. Good fun. Um, yeah, it'll all be good. Doesn't make me a bad person, does it? Um, yeah, so now it's just, uh, that's what I'm doing, just getting rid of all the crap in there. Give it a good point. I'll give this, I'll uh, do this two or three times, I think. And then, um, yeah, that's a good one. Happy days. I don't know about you guys, but I quite enjoy doing the filter cleans really. Be first, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff I still need to, to change over time um, to make it cleaner and easier to, to do my change, filter changes with take the filter cleans. And that'll come, you know, uh, run one built in a day. Um, hopefully, you know, within, you know, hopefully in the next 12 months, you know, we'll look back at this and uh, everything will be running like clockwork. Obviously, I've, um, oh, it's quite funny, yeah, I've got to show you this in a minute, but the fish do a swim, a flyby. And typically what usually happens when you expect the, the koi to do something, they don't do it. So, uh, let me just see if I can show you them again, but... 
Yeah, I could spend hours just watching the fish. No, the water's just gin clear. Just love it. Love watching them. I spend hours watching fish. It's a good distressor as well, isn't it? It just lets you de-stress the shit that goes on in life. Naughty boy there, I've got the oil pipe going straight in. I need to get some uh, chlorine remover, but in all fairness, I've been doing this for a while, you know, for a while now. They seem to be alright with it. I know those guys out there would say, no, it's tut tut Steve, you should use uh, the chlorine remover. And a couple of mates I've got in mind, Simon Ellis, will be telling you off. Here we go. Yeah. A wacky race, isn't it? Bless them. Right, guys, I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. And uh, just after this video, I'm just going to put a little bit of a, a clip of me just waffling on about shit, about things that's come to mind over recent recent days and week as such and then um, yeah I hope you guys have a cracking weekend and I'll catch up with you soon. Take care guys.